Hello everybody, Morillibus here, and I am playing on the Olympus server. That's it. Thank you for watching. No, okay. Here we are. I've done some work on the tower. I actually streamed the other day. And we did some work together and got some ideas from a bunch of you. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Or did I? No, that was an accident. And yeah, we got some got some stuff done, made some decisions, and I think I'm getting closer to figuring out the layout that I want for inside the tower. I've set up a secondary beacon um, to get more coverage, and it's within 50 blocks of that edge and 50 blocks of that edge. And it's essentially as close to the tower as I could get it, I think. Yeah, it's hugging the tower right there. Woo! Might have to edit that out. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Sneezed. That's as far as, yeah, so it could have been further that way, which would allow us to get a bit more coverage in that corner, but because of the tower's here, I couldn't move it anymore that way. So that'll have to do. So we'll probably end up having to move it to all four corners of the tower anyway to get the full coverage. Um, I worked some more on the cow farm in the stream. Um, that's actually when I started streaming, is I had an idea on how to possibly fix it. And I think I've got it fixed. It still does this thing <laughs> every time the cows grow up, or you unload the chunk. But what I ended up doing is I just ended up filling the outside with just complete water source blocks. So now when the cows grow up, they glitch out into the outer ring, and then they just all float up. Even if they're babies, it doesn't really matter. So I, before I had that crisscross thing, that didn't work. I tried putting in like a swirling water source thing, which kind of worked, but was pretty buggy. And then I was like, why don't I just fill it all with source blocks? That's probably the easiest solution. So that's what I ended up doing, and it does work. So I'm going to continue trying to probably work on this a little bit. Should maybe shrink it down. Currently, I could shrink it by at least another block. I could raise the floor by one block. We don't actually need this much space between where they drop and where they collect. So I might do that, and then I might do up a tutorial if you guys are interested. It's not. It's fairly basic, so it shouldn't be a long tutorial, and I'll work on the killing mechanism. Uh, otherwise, there's probably better farms out there, and I do know DocM has one. I haven't checked it out if he's got a new one. Last one I saw dealt with minecarts where it would capture the babies once they or it would catch the babies in minecart. And then once they grew up they would get automatically killed. So that does have the benefit of them automatically dying, which this one does not. This one they collect and then they get murdered. But this does work in terms of I'm good at falling lately. I swear I was shifting. This one has it does with the like 360 ring the mobs do not accumulate in there, so it's hard to tell right now because of all the cows in there, but there you go. You can kind of see there, there's about 100 cows, and that seems to stay consistent, even though I bred them a few times. There's always 100 cows in the chamber, so it doesn't look like any of those guys are glitching out, and it doesn't look like any of they're collecting over time, which was one of the things I didn't like about the other little design. So that is good. Getting closer to that. It would be good if we could set up an auto kill, and we could probably actually change the the water on the outside to something like lava. And then once they glitch out, when they get big, they just automatically die, and their drops get collected. Maybe I'm not sure if that would work, or if some of the drops might end up getting burned. But that's something we could play around with. Anyway, let's head on inside the tower and see what we've done. Actually, before we do that, let me grab a few things. I want to try something. I made some changes, which I do really like, but then I was thinking of some other th things I could have done instead, which I also really like. Um, do I have any... I don't have any wool. <laughs> I really could use some wool. Especially for what I want to try. So I might head on to the stores and see if... I don't know if Iroh has any... What am I doing? Why is my shift not working? Maybe that's why I'm falling, because my shift key is not actually functioning, or is it? No, it is. I just can't shift-click things. Oh, my inventory's full. I'm dumb. I'm dumb today, guys. I'm sorry. And Jars has joined us. 
Hey, oh, oh, I can't type. It's early in the morning. <laughs> wow. Mr. Morilla. I don't know what he's talking about. I've never done that. So anyway, let me go get some wool, I guess, and then we will figure things out. I'll have to empty my inventory. All right, I got absolutely no wool on me. We'll go. We'll get wool in a second. Let's um. Wow! Come on, guy. You drunk? You dizzy? I'm kind of dizzy, but that's beside the point. And I'm not drunk. No. All right. To the tower insides. Okay, I've gotten rid of quartz flooring and the quartz railing. I did like it at first, but kind of figured out this flooring. So I asked you guys if you liked that flooring I had going, and then I went ahead and... Oh, Jared's getting some pretty bad block lag. I was getting a little bit, but not really, not bad at all. But that is annoying. But yeah, I didn't think the quartz was fitting anymore. So I do like that floor design we had going, and I decided to go with it. And actually, I made, I had made four different versions of the floor. So we had the red one, which I showed you, which actually isn't, it is this one. I haven't actually changed it yet. And then I made a blue one. Well, let's go take a look. I made the blue one with lapis here, which had a different um, pattern. It was just um, solid stone brick. So not stairs. And then I made this yellow one over here, which was pretty much the exact same thing, except for the stone stairs were instead um, stone slabs. So the, like the regular stone slabs, the white one, whitish ones. And then I did a green one, which looked like this. So it was between, kind of, and I asked the guys on the Lipa server too, and they kind of liked the green or the red one. And then on the stream... By the time I streamed, I had already converted it all to this. So I decided to go with the green, because between the green and the red, I kind of like the green. And the only difference, you may not even be able to tell, is this block. If you look at this block, the stairs are orientated away from it. And if you look over here on the red, the stairs are orientated towards it. So that's the only difference. But I kind of like how it looks over here. It kind of makes all the coal blocks look like they're kind of got a little recess around it and then the same thing on these spots so that I do like and you can kind of tell I kind of decided to do what we did over here so I was kind of trying to figure out where I want to put stairs right I wanted stairs up and I wanted stairs down so these stairs go up both sides and then I was wondering what to do with the other other corners, where I should put the other stairs. Like, I want to have stairs going down, so we kind of talked about in the stream, should I make this one go down and then the opposite corner go up? So it'd be like up in that corner, up in that corner, or or what should we do? And we decided that this side should be up, and then this side will be down, and I think that actually works out the best. So I was working on that during the stream. We built some of this together. And I this I did after the fact. I'm trying to see what you let me let me know what you guys think of these lights. Um I put some coal block behind there. It was barren before, so this is with lights. Uh I'm kind of leaning towards that one. I'm not sure if the iron bars really suit. And oh, I also <laughs> changed instead of redstone lamps, I have cauldrons full of water. I'm not sure about those either. <laughs> but this is the original design, so redstone lamps and then no lighting. It does seem kind of dark over here though, so lighting might be a good idea. And then I added some iron bars there. Those ones I don't mind, but again, I'm not sure if they really fit. And then I add some iron bars here as well, just trying to get some depth to those walls. But I'm not too sure if I like those either. I kind of like them, but I don't know if it's really necessary. So, also, this little guy here is a Ender Pearl. This one, I think it, uh, one of you guys told me about it. And it is, it dispenses, I think, a stack of pearls. And it is designed by the Ultimate Redstoner, who's recently featured on Deer Duck. But I think it dispenses about a stack. Unfortunately, they kind of go all over the place. So it's actually a dispenser in the back because it fires. If it was a dropper, it would just place the items in here. And it kind of does a this thing. Torch burnout, I guess. And yeah. 
He has another version as well. So that is really small. I don't know if we'll actually use it, but it is cool. I don't like how they go flying all over the place, but we could probably control that a bit maybe by adding in some blocks around it. He does have a flush one that's hidden as well, but we'll see. I've also gone ahead and added these rails, so I like I think cobble's the way to go for the railing. I haven't tried a new material yet, but I do really like the cobble. And then this I ended up changing to cobble, so this was the quartz with stairs. And I opted for some more cobble, and I think I like it. I think the cobble's doing a nice job. And this is kind of how I changed it up. These used to be stairs, and then a stair there. And the banister used to be one block high instead of this one and a half block high. So this is wrapping around, and I'm kind of keeping the colors kind of as identifiers of the areas. So we got a red area, green area, yellow area, blue area. So this is kind of going over here, and then we stopped. And here I was talking about maybe adding in a storage, another sorter. And I've been thinking about it, and I think what I'm going to do is not put it here, because I can't really put it here if I keep these stairs here. If I have stairs coming up here... I can't really have a sorter here, or we're just going to run right through it. So instead of having it there, we're going to put it over here on the other end. And I think instead of having just one, we might have a, a line of it going across. Since these are going to be stairs down, this whole area can be kind of flush, actually, or we could do something with it. We'll still have these beams coming up in the same locations, but we don't have to worry about stairs going down and wrapping around it. So we could have a sorter going all the way across to handle any more items that we might want um, that we can't currently sort. And here with the balcony, I think I still want to do that. And I think we will end up putting a co-op up here. So that will be, I think, the location of that. I just got to gotta figure out a little bit placement exactly before I go ahead and do it. And then I changed this out too. So this used to be qu quartz. And again, I didn't think it fit when it looked okay from down below because you're in quartz area looking up but up here it just looked like a sore thumb just this ring of white and it just looked really out of place with the floor design we went with so i changed it all to cobblestone and i did pretty much kind of a similar thing to up there but this is actually when i wanted to try something else out with and that's why i want some wool so hopefully i can get that i've also set up this little thing which is a temporary input chest for things to store so it should work, <laughs> theoretically. Um, I can't sort everything at the moment, but I should be able to sort all these things. And there we go. So that's really the only reason I wanted to come up here was to throw some stuff away. And then now we can go get some wool. Whee! Which we will probably head to the store and see what Ira's got in his store. I'm not sure if he has any stock in there, but hopefully he does. And we can buy some... I don't need much, I just want to play around with it, and then if we end up going with it, we'll try to acquire some more, or we might go hang out at Iroh's farm and collect some, and if he's okay with that, and maybe we'll pay him for using his his farm. Ahoy! And I believe is going to be recording an episode here this morning as well, so if you did go and check out his channel, thank you for doing so. Um, and yeah, he'll have another episode up probably later this week. And yeah, so I will go for a walk to the nether. We're here. I has got some wool here. It hasn't been put in. I think it's actually the wool um, for the all these chests that aren't in place. So I asked him if I could buy some of that, and he did. Uh, what is the 32 wool equals one diamond? Signs and chests place on bushes with your name and purchase. Okay, I'm going to then buy a stack of uh, dark gray. Uh, maybe we'll buy half a stack then. We'll grab half a stack so we don't take all of it. And that will be for one diamond. And we'll go ahead and give him that. Yoink! And one diamond equals nine iron. Nope, I want my iron. Alright, and then we'll put it on the bushes. 32 gray wool for one diamond more bus. and he's actually going to be working on this or working on his wool farm in his episode so go check it out 
All right, that is all I need. All right, guys, in the stream, I toured around to people's bases. Um, that footage should be available on Twitch if you want to see. I think I made it... I didn't make it around to everybody's, but I did tour some. I saw D Gamers. I saw... I didn't get to Ike. I don't think he's still on the server, though. Maybe he is. Uh, we got to Runnings. We visited Jordans. We visited uh, Golden Star. We visited... That's not... I don't know who that is. We went to Tacos. And we also went to this guy, Damians. Um, and we went quickly to Iros. We didn't show too much to Iros because I know he's starting to uh, throw, show all of his footage. However, we do have Damians. I thought I'd show you guys Damians here. I don't have a cart. It's unfortunate. Let's head on down. He's been working hard on this on his nether tunnel, which is pretty cool looking. He calls it like the s'more tunnel. Got spruce wood and the white wool. That's the marshmallow. I think that's the chocolate and the cracker. I don't know. The cracker's the wood. But yeah, very nice tunnel. A lot of detail went into it. Pretty cool. And he's he lives in a snow biome. I think taiga, I think. Or maybe ice plains. I can't remember what it is. Or ice mountains. I think it's taiga, though. Recently, he's been working on his... Uh, this thing, basically. <laughs> this rail, sorry. And he's got a pretty cool little launcher system set up as well for his rail. It's nice and flush. So his rail just stops here, which is pretty cool. And um, if we get a cart, I can show you an operation. So that's how you get launched, and it sends you away. But let's um, let's get out a little bit, and we'll come flying in and we can see it in action. So it's set up to automatically kick you out of the cart. And then he's got a little button there just to get you back in when you're ready to go. So that block comes up. Uh, it's a dispenser under there and it shoots two arrows in rapid succession. And it's got these little detector rails to know which way you're coming in. So when you're coming in that way, it gets fired off. So yeah, you do that and then you th when you're done, you throw your cart into the side and away you go. So I, it's nice. I like it because it's, it's just flush, right? It doesn't go up against the wall or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. We've been working on that, I think, in the last episode or a couple episodes ago. If you, so if you want to see how he's how he does this, go check it out. And yeah, and he just recently in his latest episode kind of got this whole, this whole thing put together. Which is pretty cool. You can see a little glimmer of redstone torch. It actually looks really cool there. Uh, we'll go take a look at this place real quick here, and then we'll head back to my tower. And then, away we go. So yeah, this is da 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 me on 557 he's in the description. Pretty cool guy, pretty funny guy. Uh, if you're not already subbed to him, or not already checking out his content, please do so. Um, I'm not going to look over to where I just looked, because I think that's new. Um, so yeah, I had to cut out a little bit of footage here, but this is what he's got going. I think it is Ice, ice Mountains, yeah. So he's got kind of a, I don't know what you'd call this kind of build. Is it Nordic? But yeah, it looks really good. We can get maybe a little closer. Again, I'm going to try not to spoil anything that he's recently worked on. But this is his brewery. Hey, Spider, if you could attack me from this side, that would be greatly appreciated. And he does have a problem with mobs. And I think it is true that they won't spawn on double snow slabs, but they're single ones they can spawn on. Because they don't actually change your hitbox. But two layers. Zombie, you as well. You have to stay on this side of me when we're fighting, okay? But yeah, pretty cool builds. Puts a lot of effort into them, and I think they look really good. This was the first house he built, and he's got this natural looking wheat farm on the side that has some hidden water streams that come out of the mountains, so that's pretty cool. And he's the originator of the Drunken Stairs. So let's head on in there. Whoop! Yeah, so he's got this thing going. So he's got these, what I call, drunken stairs, because they're just going to zigzag all over the place. And he's got this lookout area here that looks over his village, or his town. Pretty cool. Um, hi, guy. And if we head over to the other side, he's got a brewery, which is this big building over here, I think. Yes. So if we head on over in there, check that out real quick. 
and he's got this cool balcony thing the umbrella I think that looks really cool yeah great work great use of blocks awesome and he's got this like on-demand potion thing so you just kinda hit a button you pick what you want I think you duration if you want extended duration or potency so like glowstone basically you pick what you want and then you pick the potion and then I think it goes ahead and brews it all for you and then it all gets popped up into this brewing stand of three potions so that's pretty cool and I think we got a zombie stalking us so yeah if you want to see how he's done all that too there's a load of redstone beneath there so pretty cool and yeah I think that's as far as he's gone in here as far as that, I think he wanted to take a break on that stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to showcase him today. Uh, he's got, yeah, go check him out. Great channel, great guy, funny stuff. Uh, good content. Give him some support, some support, some feedback. And yeah, we will continue on our quest back to the village. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Damian. Do I have any... Do I have any dirt? Huh. Can we fill it in with wood? <laughs> Is that acceptable? I was never here. Yep. This is a dangerous place. I see why he always wants to sleep. <laughs> no. Okay. Sorry, Don Man. It looks like he had an explosion here, too. So I will <laughs> fill this in with wood. I've reinforced it. I gotta eat before I die. Uh, and then that hopefully will be enough wood <laughs> or dirt to get that f covered up. Ta-da! Okay, let's get out of here. If I can. He's got plans for a massive statue here, which should be cool if he ever gets on it. Get on it! I failed. Whoop! I should have taken the other portal. Nope. Don't touch me. Where's that going? Alright, anyway, guys. I'll see you back at, my, at the tower. Oh, everywhere should have jump boost. Come on. And we are back at the tower. With the rain. So I want to try something. Like, well, this is new addition that I did. And I do like it. But I do want to try something with this wool. This isn't exactly where I was thinking of using it, but... Let's see, I've never actually done anything with carpets before. So let's make some. I don't want to make... Let's keep some of the wool. And then what if we did something like that? I kind of like that. Maybe not here, but I like how minimalistic it is. It adds just that little bit. So what I was thinking, actually, to do with it... Rain. Really? Really? What time is it? Let's get some... Hmm... We're gonna have to play. <laughs> if I convert this railing back to the way it was with the quartz, but not with quartz, with, um... The stone. I probably don't need more stone, as a stone up there. <laughs> I... Quitter. <laughs> Basically, if you quit the game on the server without saying goodbye, I call you a quitter. That's just how it is. Okay, so it used to look like this, I think. So what I was thinking, if we put this back down to like a lower level, instead of being so high up, which unfortunately I can't use these cobble, these guys, which I do really like. Well, let's just get rid of it for now. So if we do something like that, which looks kind of low, like this railing actually looks okay, unless you go into like F5, then it's like you're a little baby inside. Hello! But because of the jump boost, we can jump over it, so that's not an issue. But, alright, and we could maybe still use the stone things. I could maybe do something like I did before, or in the nether, and keep that up high like that or something. Like, I could almost keep it just like so. And do a bit of that. And then the idea is to put the carpet on top of here. 
and that adds a little bit more color and yeah although it looks funny with that to be honest but it kind of looks okay like there the other thing I like the look of the stone so the regular stone I think actually looks pretty cool I really hope this rain goes away really do yeah I like the look of this however I hate the look of it from above <laughs> I like the side look um, but whenever it's tiled I just think it looks awful like if there's a whole bunch of it right next to each other I don't like the look of look from above it just looks really bland but I do like it from the side it's got that nice bright feel to it but not quite like quartz bright Whee! So let's make... Ah, let's just make the rest into carpet. Why not? Okay. So like here, we could, hi oops. we could hide the stuff I don't like by putting wool on top and still get that nice look on the side. And that actually looks... might look okay. Again, this doesn't look good at all. <laughs> but we could do that. Can't put it on the slab, but... Could get rid of that and put a stair back or something. Not sure. Hmm. Kind of like it. I think maybe the cobble is just the way to go, though. So I think we will probably keep this, unless you guys think otherwise. That's kind of what I wanted to play around with, though. I thought that might look pretty cool. And it doesn't look too bad. And of course, we could do other colors as well. I just thought gray would be fitting and a nice kind of neutral color that wouldn't distract or clash too badly with the flooring. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe I'll just leave that like that for now, and then I'll just keep looking at it. <laughs> and then eventually I'll decide what we like and what we don't like. It's kind of what I, I'm doing here with the lights. I figured I'd just keep the lights here, and then eventually I'd figure out which one I really like and which one I hate. And I think I'm leaning towards that, and I think I'm leaning towards the just the glowstone lamps for lighting. But I, I do, I don't know, I like it bland here too, but... And then for those guys, again, I've got nothing there, something there, and I think I like it better with nothing, to be honest. Iron bars I don't think fit there. Could maybe do something else, but... Yeah, but I think that might be it for today, guys. We didn't get too much done, really, but we <laughs> I showed you the process, uh, progress we made during the stream and some more progress I made after the stream, off-camera. And then we got to visit Damian's place. Check him out. So again, go visit his channel, fellow Olympian member. Good content. Funny guy. Worth checking out. And, yeah, we got to visit Ira's store. Give him a diamond. Woo! <laughs> and, yeah, I think we've got this kind of planned out now more as well. So I'm I'm happy with the progress we're making and where it's leading. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep going with the green or if I should pick different colors for each area. But I do think I'm going to keep with the green for now at least. You can always change it later. But I do like that green personally. So I'm going to use it. So that's what I'm going to probably do off camera is continue working on this area. Might get this kind of laid out for the other sorting area. Get it kind of sketched out with some more dirt. And I might try to figure out where we're going to put the quap. And then we'll work on something in the next episode, which I'm not too sure yet. But if you have any requests on something you would like to see, feel free to leave it in the comments. Not the description. You can't write stuff in the description. That is my power. Yeah, leave a comment below if you'd like us to work on something specific. And I will be working off camera, digging this thing out on and off when I feel like it. Which I currently do not. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.